Now on Golfing World, it's time for the latest edition of our This Week in Golf series. Each week, we've been looking back at some of the most memorable moments from down the years, charting the fortunes of a number of the game's leading players. This week, we're going back to the 1998 edition of the Dubai Desert Classic. In recent years, the event has been dominated by Spaniards, with Miguel Angel Jimenez, Alvaro Quiros, and Rafael Cabrera Bello all getting their hands on the trophy. 14 years ago, the Spanish challenge was being led by Sevi Ballesteros and Jose Maria Olafarbal. Both would be in contention in a field containing some of the biggest names in the game. Ballesteros arrived confident he could win for the first time in three years, and rounds of 68, 68 and 69 put him on 11 under. Olafarbal made the trip not knowing whether he'd be fit to take part. A dose of flu meant he nearly pulled out minutes before his first round tea time, which you would never have known from his impressive opening 69. The 1994 Masters champion followed that with a 67, and a masterful 65 put him on 15 under par and right in the mix. Olafarbal would be joined on the same total by double US Open champion Ernie Els, a previous winner in Dubai. The Big Easy was at his best during a superb second round 63. But leading the way was Robert Carlson, the tall Swede, the model of consistency, posting rounds of 66, 65 and 67 to take a two-shot lead on 17 under. Ballesteros came out all guns blazing on the final day, but a six-shot deficit proved too much to overhaul. He finished just outside the top ten. Similarly, Elts would post birdies early on, but a series of errors on the inward nine saw him finish in a tie for third after a closing 72. Instead, it was the relatively unknown Stephen Allen who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the leaders. He got to 17 under thanks to two brilliant birdies on 16 and 17 to sit just one off the lead as he headed up the last. Attempting to reach the par 5 18th in two, Allen pushed too hard and saw his hopes of a maiden European Tour title sink in the Greenside Lake. That left Olafarbal and Carlsen to battle it out for the crown. The Spaniards, still suffering with flu, had to dig deep to stay in contention. This approach to the par 311 set up a birdie, which would move him to 16 under. Overnight leader Carlson began the final day slowly and looked to be struggling with the pressure of being ahead. This misjudged wedge to the 16th summed up his day and the resultant bogey would mean that the title was now Ola Farbel's for the taking. Ollie was moving through the gears and found his range at the par 5 13th. A chip in eagle free as he took advantage of Carlson's nerves. A birdie at the tricky par 4 17th saw him move one clear with just the final hole to play. And that cushion allowed him the luxury of laying up on the closing par 5. Another great wedge shot finished below the hole. The putt for birdie went in to see him finish two clear of the field and claim the 18th title of his career. Ollie's next win would come at the 1999 Masters, where he defeated Davis Love. The two will go head-to-head -head at this year's Ryder Cup as opposing captains. If Olafarbal shows as much heart and determination at Medina as he did in Dubai 14 years ago, the European team will be in safe hands.